it's mail time and guess who today's package is from clutter and gore bath finders creepers on etsy one of my favorite bath shops absolutely love the store they're located in canada so i always make sure to stock up when i get my goodies from them this is a very large box, but it also has a couple items that are donated to the local Animal Protection Association. So I will show you those because I'm sure you've seen some of my artwork also going for that same event. So I went ahead and pre-sliced it open, but I did of course not peek. This is a gigantic box. Like I think this is probably one of the largest shipments I've ever gotten show you guys this is how my goodie box came absolutely amazing smells so good I actually wonder like when this is going through the post office like how many people smell something and they're like what is in that box it smells good or like how many people smell my box you know you know they've got to be curious at the post office so let's open this goodie box up she always packs very well for me and I do keep these like I showed you in that other video of how to store some bad goodies this is the Christine the car bath bomb absolutely stinking cute and I can actually see there's some orange in there look at that bath bomb and tell me that that's not cute the scent of Christine is cherry balm fragrance really can't smell too much when they're already all sealed because it keeps them fresh and that scent locked in but I just love this even down to the details of the white wool on the car how cute is that I've got the Christine and the Frida unpacked so far where are we gonna go next we'll go right here this is the one that when I seen it I was like oh my gosh super cute. This is Rosemary's Baby bath bomb. I'm going to pull it out some here. So move this tag around so that you guys can see it. And it looks like this one did crumble a little bit in shipping, but it came all the way from Canada. So I mean, I'm so glad they just even arrived with the mail today. This is Rosemary's Baby, and it's Lavender Frankincense and Myrrh Scented. It's black, and it has this really pretty, like, iridescent glitter on it, and it's not like the huge chunks either. So that one, I absolutely love. And she always has the best ingredients in these, like, ingredients that, like, I'm just like, wow. We're gonna fold Rosemary's Baby back up. Oh my goodness, look at how cute this is. This is, I believe it was something widow. Let me pull the little taggy out. Oh, it smells so good in there. Oh my, it says it's a poison berry scent, but poison berry smells amazing. This is the lullaby bath bomb. Very different scent. Love it. And if you look at the detailing on this, she has painted a spider in the spider web. Very cute. Another great item from her. So I don't know where you guys want to go next with the shipment, but I'm just going to kind of like randomly pull items out now since we're at the like mid layer I bet you're wondering what's still in this box well we still have quite a few items to go through this one oh my goodness I love it I love this bath bomb design this is Philip Philip is the dark goat and he's scented in witch's brew which I can already smell it's so good oh my goodness smell that again oh my goodness I should have bought more of these Philip is scented in witch's brew which I can already smell and it smells so good in here 
His design is adorable. Like, I don't even know where she gets these, like, molds to make these. Philip over there. And I actually bought I actually bought two. So here is my second Philip. Put him over there with the other one. So the next one that we have is the Creature Bath Bomb. This one smells fantastic. I don't know what the mix is. So I will have to put that information below for you. But she has like hand painted a whole graveyard scene on there. Even down to the tombstones. I could not even imagine how long this takes. Super cute. And it does say something on like the coffin itself, but I can't make it out. So what do you guys think that says? We have the Skull Blossom Bath Bomb. Oh wow, we smell amazing in here. This is a sweet pea scented bath bomb. Super gorgeous. And it is a white skull on a flower and it's actually painted. She has done an amazing job on this one. And I would say that like I've smelled many different types of sweet pea and this is like not an overpowering one. Sometimes they're too strong and like mess with my allergies. This is one I don't think it would mess with them. So we're gonna put the skull over there. Take that out. We will go here. This is the Fawn of Satan. Spicy, ginger, and citrus. This is a new one that she had listed. Super adorable. And she had me at Spicy Ginger. And this one smells really good. Like, I would say that the scent matches the name. Very adorable. Can't wait to try this one. And if you didn't catch it, like, the deer has, like, a double tail. That is stinking cute. We are going here to the Green Devil Absinthe. Bath bomb. Open the green double up. Super adorable logo. It looks like he's holding a bottle of champagne, maybe? Oh, and this is the first time that I've ever smelt this. I probably said it wrong, so I apologize. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what this smells like because I've never smelled this before. The Green Devil is definitely going to be one of my favorites. So we'll put him over here. And next, one of my favorites, the Red Rum Bath Bombs. I got two of these bad boys. So let's open up one. All right, and red rum actually says red rum, and I'm not sure what it's scented in, but it smells super yummy. Like fruity and spicy, I don't know. Very cute, and like I said, I bought two because I love the first one that I had tried. So this is definitely a restock. Up next, we have the Love Potion, number nine, Bath Bomb, which, wow, that smells amazing. That's a Cherry Love Spell scent. Oh my goodness. It smells like a fruit, like, like something that you could eat. And the design is super cute. The reasoning why I bought this, I didn't even know what scent it is because I seen the color that the bath water turns after this bad boy and it was super adorable so I had to have one. 
So next, we have the Blood and Cake Bubble Bar. Oh my goodness. This thing smells amazing. It smells like this gum that I used to chew. Oh, it smells so good. This is like, you guys have got to try this. Like, trust me. And it's a strawberry cupcake, banana, and pineapple fragrance. That is what I'm smelling. And it's a bubble bar, so of course you can like break off pieces to make your bubbles. So you don't have to use the whole bubble bar. This one again was the Blood and Cake Bubble Bar, and definitely try this one. Up next we have the Stigma Bath Bomb. And I believe it's scented in peony on our website, but she made this one for me. So it's peach mango because I am kind of allergic to the flowery scents. Uh, it looks like this one was a little shaken in transit, so we have a little crack, which is fine because I've received some stuff from Lush in Canada, and like, it was scary. Nothing compares to that Lush shipment. And like I said, like maybe two items were a little bumped and dented, but what do you expect with transit nowadays? And I can even smell the peach mango on this, which has been in here. This is a very cute bath bomb, and it's a hand, and it's got the little um, bleeding hole right there. Very different. Next, we have the Be Mine Forever bath bomb. These smell amazing. There are two of them in here. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. They smell like this, like, it's a candy you get around Valentine's Day, and it's like a heart sucker. Very cute. Love them. I hope to see that scent again. So the next few items that were sent in are sent in for the fundraiser, and we have this black Happy Cat which is scented in dark mint. I'm not gonna take them out because these are for the raffle, so I want them to like still look perfect, but very cute. And then she has a pink one, oh my goodness, and it has a daisy scented in sweet pea. Very cute. And then we have a lavender chamomile kitty. And lavender chamomile is purple, of course. Very cute. And we have a lemon balm. She has made this one very cute. It has a little flower in its eye. Very cute. And the next we have a peach mango kitty. And these are all very spring colored and designed. Absolutely adorable. I'm going to put these back in the box and then put my stuff in my box that I keep them in. Also, make sure to try the Blood and Cake Bubble Bar, which smelled super amazing. This scent mix is like fantastic and the design is adorable. So check them out. Shop with her. I'm sure you will love all her products. Thank you for joining in for today's unboxing with Glitter and More, Finders and Creepers on Etsy.